Today I've got my latest chalk line based antenna. This is an NFED half wave using a QRP guys 80 to 10 meter no tune antenna. So you don't need a tuner for this because what we do is adjust the length using this chalk line. So I've made about a half dozen of these different varieties. So far this is my favorite version because especially on the higher bands like 20 and 10 meter where you need more adjustability you have four different slots and the handle's metal. I had a plastic one on a different chalk line that shot off under tension. So what I did was opened it up using these four screws and then took all of the string out and I replaced it with 30 pound test copper fishing leader. I've got about 150 feet of that in here, which is enough to easily get 80 meter and then have extra if I snap it, which has happened. They do make a 45 pound test version, which I might try next. Uh, I wanted to start with this uh, thinner version because I wasn't sure how easily it would fit, but there's plenty of extra room. This QRP guys transformer comes as a kit and all you have to do is follow the instructions. It comes with everything you need. You just wind the wires around the, for the ferrite inside and put it together. It was fairly straightforward and fairly inexpensive. Uh, this side is for a counterpoise, but if you run enough coax, which I have 20 feet here of RG174, you don't need a counterpoise. So I put this ferrite on the end that faces the radio, so the rest of the shielding acts as the counterpoise for the whole antenna. First thing I always do is secure my transformer to a tree. I pick a spot where I want to have the radio because the transformer goes on the same side as the radio, obviously. So I have this short cord that I will just wrap around and connect to itself. And then from there, I have another cord on the transformer that just clips in. <clears throat> I like to use these plastic hooks so that way if the cord itself gets wet, it doesn't transmit any signal uh, between. So I use that on both ends. It keeps the resonance of the antenna from changing in the rain. So after I get the transformer attached to the tree, I have a loop in the chalk line side. And what this does is it takes all the tension through this hook and keeps any tension off of the terminals. So I'll attach this loop into these hooks and then just loosen up this screw terminal. Attach the trans or uh, attach the transformer to my antenna wire itself. Nice and tight. And then when I pull some tension on this, there's no tension on here. You never want tension on these screw terminals. Next step is I'll attach my coax to the transformer. The side with the choke on it goes towards the radio. So I put the other end up here and then just stretch it out to you know, the ground somewhere nice and straight. So that way it acts as a good counterpoise. Once I've got the coax all ran, I lift the handle on this chalk line so I can pull. And then all I do is feel for the knots that I've tied. I've already measured everything in the past and marked where it was resonant by tying a knot just in this copper wire. So even if it's dark out, I can still feel for them. I know where they're at. So that knot, just a little guy there, that's 20 meters. It 
doesn't seem to impact the strength of the wire at all. I haven't had any issues where the knots are. The only issue I've had was I had it too low and the dogs were out running around and ran through it. So I did have a repair that I soldered. You could see right at the beginning. I'm gonna stretch it out to the 40 meter length. And then we're gonna tie it up. Okay, so there's my knot for 40. All I do is back it up, lock the handle. And I have a spool of string with another one of the plastic hooks. And I just hook it around the antenna wire itself. And then tie it to a tree, and you can see it holds it up just fine. Once I find a tree that's a little bit further from my resident location, I just tie a slip knot so I can pull the antenna nice and tight. Right now I've only got it about five feet off the ground, but I usually try to get it a little bit over my maximum reach height. But it's easier to record like this. I like to use a Nano VNA to check SWR. I don't do this in the field because I typically already have everything all measured out and knotted, but just for this video, it's 1.11 to 1 SWR. It's 7.102, which is ideal because I like to use JS8 Call and WinLink, and they're all right in that lower portion. But if we go up to, let's see, 7.2, we're still at 1.26 to 1. Go up to the top of 40, we're still less than 1.5 to 1. So this works as a great broadband antenna. Uh, it's also resonant on 20 meters. To some extent. So we're below 1.5 right about well we're about 1.6 right at the JS8 call section of the band and it goes down from there now if I want to use exclusively 20 meters I'll just roll it into the 20 meter knot and then it's got a nice resonant dip in the lower portion of 20. Disconnecting everything is the fastest NVIS type antenna I've used so far um, it's just a matter of disconnecting all of these hooks, winding the coax up, and then using the handle on the chalk line to reel the actual antenna itself back in. So I try to always focus on lightweight and speed, and this is my best version yet. Let me know in the comments if you found anything better or have any other ideas you'd like me to try.